The Seventh Day Sabbath truth came through Seventh Day Baptist in the history of the Seventh Day Adventist Church. And not only did they discover the Seventh Day Sabbath as Saturday, they also rejected the Trinity. Thus, in 1872, they declared their fundamental principles, meaning truth that are founded in the Word of God, meaning unchangeable truth that they believe. They not only believe, but they teach. But they did not only teach, they practice it. Thus, the Seventh Day Adventists began as Saturday keepers and worshipers of the one true God and His Son through His Son, Jesus Christ, and rejected the Trinity. They also believed the Holy Spirit, but it's not the Trinity Holy Spirit. It is the Spirit of God and the Spirit of Christ. The rich history of the Seventh-day Adventists made me realize that the present General Conference Corporate Church of the Seventh-day Adventists since 1980 had indeed departed or apostatized from the original faith of the Seventh-day Adventists. So the faith that God had given slowly to the Reformers, justification by faith, through the Baptist, Seventh-day Sabbath, and the others, other pillars of truth from the Bible, the Seventh-day Adventists in their early and pioneering years incorporated together, thus proclaimed that the Bible, or sola scriptura, is the only creed, the basis of all truth, which they unanimously and uh, faithfully adhered to. So the present Seventh-day Adventists departed from the original history of the Seventh-day Adventists by proclaiming instead of the one true God, Jehovah, and His only begotten divine Son, Jesus Christ, to be replaced by Trinity. And this is where, as a student of history and theology, I discovered my journey that my church that I have served for 40 plus years of my life has indeed departed from Bible truth and has embraced Roman error through the Trinity doctrine. So friends, may you Investigate for yourselves and study these things for yourselves, whether these things are true or not. So, in this journey, let us be truth seekers. Let us be truth lovers, so that we may serve a faithful and loving God our Father, who gave us His only begotten divine Son. The accusations of the present General Conference Corporate Church of the Seventh-day Adventist with the original founders and pioneers of the church is that they were semi-Aryans or they don't uh, believe in the Holy Spirit as a person are all false. The pioneers of the seventh day believe the Holy Spirit is the person of Christ, the person of the Father in their divine spirit form. Meaning to say God can do whatever He desires according to His word. He declares and he, it, it came to pass. He is sovereign and it is upholded. He is the creator and it made it came to be so the reason why jesus said his father is greater than him is because god our father was first he's the sovereign the source the sustainer of all and he has a son came forth from his bosom tore from his bosom according to mrs white meaning to say before eternity began before everything else were made the father and his son came to be Proverbs 30 verse 4 is clear on that. Proverbs 8, chapter 8 is also clear on that, that the wisdom of God is His Son. Christ is the literal wisdom of the Father. May we discover this truth and may we uphold the truth because we are living in the last days, in the end times. So much more to say, friends, but for now, may we be truth seekers. May we, may we be truth lovers and hate sin and rebellion.